Parc Asterix is one of the top theme parks in France. Located just north of Paris and the de Gaulle airport, the park is so very, very easy to get to, and filled to the brim with theming and references to the eponymously named Asterix cartoon strips made by René Goschini and Albert Odisso. This park also has some phenomenal rides, making it a must visit for anyone visiting European theme parks. We visited Parc Asterix and fell in love with the rides, making us want to rank the 39 operational rides on site. Like everyone else does when they fall in love, we ranked everything we love from worst to best. It goes well if you tell your partners their flaws first before highlighting their good points. Trust me. When making this All Rides Ranked video, we must say we view rides as something that physically moves you in a direction, even if briefly. We don't class anything that doesn't move you as a ride. Attention Menir, Park Asterix 4D Cinema, does count as a ride in this list, as the chairs move sufficiently forward and backwards enough to be included. I bet you're happy to hear that, Attention Menir fans. Without much more to say here, I'm Charles from Theme Park Roundup, and here are the 39 Park Asterix rides ranked from worst to best. I apologise in advance if I butcher the French. Number 39, Le Mini Carousel. Sadly starting off our list is Le Mini Carousel, a very small tucked away carousel in the middle of the park. Looking very unloved, it wasn't being ridden by anyone, which is sad. Let's hope the next ride will cheer us up. Number 38, Le Petites Chess Follettes. Penultimately last is Le Petites Chairs for Lutz. It's a very small chair swing. We don't have much more to say about it, so here it is. Number 37, Le Petit Dracar. This has more to say about it than Le Petites Chairs for Lutz. I really like how colourful this ride is, but all it does is go around in a small circle, slightly going up and down. Number 36, Le Petit Chat Tamponaise. This kiddie bumper cars ride looks like a great ride, even if it has a weird seatbelt contraction that none of the kids know how to operate. The cars are feeling to keep with the Asterix aesthetic, but there's only five of them. That makes queuing for this ride a nightmare. Number 35, La Rivière de Elise. La Rivière de Elise desperately needs a makeover, a slow boat ride. You move around some of the grubbiest looking pieces of theming. This ride looks and feels forgotten about. There's also nothing of note going on during the ride. What a snooze fest. Number 34, Hydraulics. I love the pan. A log flume ride for kids is a great idea, and I do love that it incorporates a drop in it, even if it is very tame. Hopefully it creates young thrill seekers. Number 33, Lavomatics. Lavomatics is a ride based on the guy who likes to spend his time in the bath. Liking the bath so much he decided to build wheels on his tub, so he can always stay in the bath even when he needed to go places. Join his colt and bump around a bit. Number 32, La Petite Tempête. A spinny pirate boat ride. It's themed on pirate boats and it spins. Insightful knowledge I know. P.S. Please subscribe. Number 31. Les Chaudrons. Les Chaudrons is Park Asterix's spinning teacup ride. It made me think the word cauldron probably derived from the same root word as the French chaud, meaning hot. Apart from that little dive into etymology and language, this ride really doesn't do much compared to others of its type. I swear the spinning wheel in the middle doesn't affect the chaudron spinning speed. Number 30. Les Cadres de A. Weirdly, in the Viking area of the park are these 1910 themed biplanes. A comfortable ride I'm sure the kids enjoy, if they're not squabbling over who sits in the front seat. Number 29. Aerodynamics. Weird flying bikes. Park Asterix's words, not ours. Pedalling enables you to go high on this ride, rewarding the exercise you put into it. Or you can be lazy and just coast along the bottom. Up to you, really. Number 28. Le Petit Train. Le Petit Train is a small, beautiful train in the Roman area of the park. The only issue is that it hardly has any track. Feels like an elegant train is being wasted having to navigate the equivalent of a park toilet footprint. Number 27. Le Chevoy de Roi. Le Chevoy de Roi is a nicely themed royal carousel. Ride around on some very fancy characters like you are part of the parade. It's got some pleasant music too. Number 26. Le Carousel de César. Very similar to Le Chevoy de Roi, this carousel ranks higher than the others because it has a massive spinning on blicks, which I found hilarious. Look how big he is, and you can ride him and spin him around aiming to scare past some kids with nightmares with grotesquely sized oblets coming after them. Lovely stuff. Number 25, Luigi de Lerner. Spoon around constantly as you take on the Hydro Lerner. I hope you have a better time on this ride than the riders in this footage though. Number 24, Onigmatics. A kiddie drop tower, I'm not going to lie, this ride does look like fun. If you can go on it, go on it. Number 23, Le Chaise Volante. It's amazing what difference a bigger chair swing does to the ride quality. Le Petit Chaise Volante was the second bottom ranked ride in this list. The one that sends you 10 metres up into the air is 15 places higher. And this all ranked rides list is the closest thing to the actual truth. Remember people, great fun. Whee! Number 22, Etamine. Etamine is a spinning cabin. 
It's quite the spectacle to come across spinning and rocking like one of the raging mechanical balls you see in a cowboy themed bar. An enjoyable ride, even if it is a bit sickly. Number 21, the Cheval de Trois. A very large flying carpet going 12 meters up in the air. These are always enjoyable rides and I do like the Greek theming on this. If you have enough space under the lap bar, you can almost fly out your seat. But safety first, please. Number 20, La Galerie. La Galerie is a pirate boat ride. This one is placed right by Park Asterix's gorgeous lake, making this ride look better. Not that you can really look at the view while swinging backwards and forwards. Number 19, Guderix. When Guderix opened, it held the European record for the greatest number of inversions. It went one step further in global acclaim when it held the world, yes, world record for worst steel roller coaster. Upon receiving this honor, Park Asterix had attempted to make this ride a lot better, but believe me, it hasn't worked. This ride hurts. Ouch, 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 ouch. No surprise it's still the worst roller coaster at the park, and you should see some of the others that beat it. Number 18, Epidemie Croisé. A calm, tranquil affair, and one of the best rides to go on if you really want to see the characters from the Asterix comics. A good place to chill, especially if you've ridden the previous entry. Just make sure Epidemie doesn't try and sell you into slavery like it does in the aforementioned comics. Number 17, Les Espion de César. This is a very peaceful ride and I do find the ride cars, which are designed on the Roman shields and the tortoise formation, really cute. And the shot of watching this ride slowly pass the waterfalls is one of my main Park Asterix memories. I really don't know why, I just think it looks really tranquil. Number 16, Menir Express. The main log flume at the park, with long elevated bits you have a great view of the Egypt area to counteract the rubbish views of the random building here and the weird badly themed dark warehouse. Where the water fountains are nice but a few random panels with silhouette characters on it makes you feel like the park knows this area is disappointing but they just can't be bothered to deal with it properly. The log flume bits are fun though. Number 15, Layer of Laugh. Not considered by Park Asterix as a ride, we are saying this is most definitely a ride and what a ride experience it is. How many other rides can you get filthy drunk 35 metres up in the air? Order drinks and food and strap in for 10 minutes of a great dining experience where you can watch Tunnel de Zeus and Guderix go round and round. This is a thoroughly pleasant experience. Number 14, SOS Tornivis. A small coaster, SOS Tornivis does pack a punch though if you are not holding on when it glides around the corner. SOS Tornevis is one of those rides that feels its circuit length is too short and so goes around three times. Hey, I'm not complaining. Number 13, Chezulo Felix. A Zampella Nebulas, Chezulo Felix is tucked right in the corner behind Tataltis. An intriguing looking flat ride with multiple pendulums that rotate past each other in a very enjoyable way. This is a nice addition to the park. Number 12, Vol de Car. A very clunky roller coaster. You start off by going up a strangely sheltered lift hill and meeting a massive sun. It then gives you some pleasant curves before slamming your back in a brake run for no reason whatsoever. Bleh. By the time you've recovered from that, you've already left the ride. Number 11, Rumis and Rapidis. This is quite a violent rapids ride where you will get wet. You will think, will this get any worse? And then it does, as the last section of the ride is literally you just slowly bobbing towards the station. Feels like they ran out of funding for the end bit, but everything else before it was great. Top 10 time. Number 10, Attention Minear. And number 10 is Attention Minear, Park Asterix's 4D cinema. Usually a 4D cinema will never rank this high in an all rides ranked list, but this one might be the only one to break into the top 10 in any park, and that is because it does the Asterix IP proud. Based around a well rehashed story about the ghouls worrying whether they have any magic potion left after something happens to their druid, Getafix, Panoramics in French, this ride is true to the characters that Cuscini and Odizo created, with every one of their personalities shining out in this very well animated movie. The ride effects work smoothly with the visuals, and includes gimmicks such as scented water sprays, which are a nice touch even if annoying to have water randomly sprayed into your face. You don't need to know French to enjoy this 4D cinema, and I look forward to riding this again. Number 9, La Revanche des Pirates, Le Grand Splash. Le Grand Splash is a deceptively wet ride. You get lured in by the big asterisk on top of the mountain, and you meander through misters and sprays. Then yes, there's a Grand Splash. Exactly what you want from a ride like this. Number 8, Discobelix. Discobelix is one of my favourite named rides at Park Asterix, along with it being one of the most scenic rides on offer at the park, as it juts out into the lake. On Zampella Disco, this ride has gorgeous columns making it seem a lot more elegant than it is. It's fun enough, you always feel like this ride is breaking when it struggles to get over the bump, but then it does and you worry it won't be able to make it back to the station, but it returns and everyone can leave happy. Number 7, Trastor Ura. 
Bobsleighs are great fun. A bit randomly put in this park and an awful colour track, but who cares? It's a bobsleigh. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee